Right, in this video we're going to uh, sketch two functions, one a quadratic and one a cubic, and then find the coordinates of the point of intersection. So it says on the same axis, sketch the equation with curves with equations y is equal to x2 minus x and y is equal to x squared x minus 1. Find the coordinates of the point of intersection. So first of all, draw a set of axes. So make sure you draw them with a ruler with an arrow at one end, x and y. And for y is equal to x, brackets 2 minus x. Now your experience should have told you that this is minus x squared plus 2x, so this is the quadratic. So the x-axis, y is equal to 0. Therefore we need to take the factorised version, which is x times 2 minus x is equal to 0 which gives x is equal to 0, or 2 minus x is equal to 0, which means x is 2. Plot those points onto my graph. Remember, this is a sketch, so, it, so sometimes it's better to just do it on plain paper. And for the y-axis, x is equal to 0, where we can already see that it's going to be y is equal to 0. Now, the most dominant part of this is y, y minus x squared, as uh, minus x squared will mean that the shape of the quadratic will be an n-shaped quadratic and therefore we can draw our quadratic sketch like that making sure we've got an n-shape. Now the other one is a cubic so we've got y is equal to x squared times x minus 1 so we've got x axis y is equal to 0 so we've got x squared times x minus 1 is equal to 0 which means either x is 0, but that's a repeated root, that means it's either going to be a maximum or minimum, or 1, so we'll mark that point on to my graph, we've already got 0 on. Now, as what the y-axis, x is equal to 0, and again we can see that y is going to be equal to 0, so we're going to go through that point. Considering x cubed, as x goes to minus infinity over here, well, minus infinity cubed is uh, minus, so y will go to minus infinity. So the curve's going to start somewhere down here. And when x is plus infinity, y will be plus infinity. So it's going to, as x goes to plus infinity, y goes to plus infinity, it's going to end up over here. This point here, therefore, is going to be a maximum point because it's a repeated root. So remember, a cubic is steep, steeper than a quadratic curve generally except between 0 and 1 so it, we have to be careful here because here it's just going to be underneath and then it's going to go much deeper like that so it's actually going to cross somewhere over here as well so it's going to start down here go across the, the other curve this will be a max local maximum and then this will go through here and then go up here so we're going to have three points of inter intersection all right, between 0 and 1, it's not quite so steep as a quadratic. So, there's our curve again, just drawing them out again. From the graph, we can see that we have three points of intersection. First one here, second one here, so we know 0, 0 is so the point of inflection, and the third one here. So these are the points of inter intersection. At the point of intersection, x squared uh, times x minus 1 is equal to x times 2 minus x. The two curves are equal to each other. If we expand the brackets, we get x squared times x, which is x cubed. x squared times minus 1, which is minus x squared. x times 2, which is 2x. And x times minus x is minus x squared. So taking 2x and adding 2x to both x squared to both sides, we get x cubed. Well, if we take this over here or take this over here, they're just going to cancel it out. That makes life easy. So we just get x cubed minus 2x is equal to 0. And if we factorize that out, we get a common factor of x, brackets x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. And we will, could recognise, so we've got x, but we can recognise this as a type of a minus b squared is equal to a plus b, a minus b, a being x, and b being the square root of 2. So we get x times x plus root 2 times x minus root 2 is equal to 0. 
So x is equal to minus root 2, 0, and a root 2. So this is going to be minus root 2. This is going to be uh, 0, and this is going to be plus root 2. So this is not quite to the right scale. So substitute into y is equal to the quadratic x times 2 minus x, because that's the easier of the two to substitute in. So when x is minus root 2, we're going to get minus root 2, brackets, 2 minus minus root 2, so that's 2 plus root 2. And in the bracket, we get minus 2 root 2, so that's a minus times a plus, because so it's going to be minus root 2 root times root 2, which is minus 2. And then when x is equal to root 2, we've got y is root 2 times 2 minus root 2, so that's going to give me 2 root 2, and root 2 times root 2 gives me minus 2. We already know when it's 0, y is equal to 0, therefore the coordinates of the point of intersection are minus 2, minus 2, root 2, minus 2, 0, 0, and root 2, 2, root 2, minus 2. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to uh, plot two curves on the same axis and then find the coordinates of their point of intersection. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.